Hey, what's up guys, it is Saints fan, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to do an E3 video just because I haven't done one yet, and I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do one. Now, here's the thing, I did record some vlogs at E3, but they got messed up. I don't know how, I guess the way I recorded on my phone, they were all sideways, so if I do figure out a way, because I tried rotating it, that didn't work. So if worse comes to worse, <laughs> I'll just have them play sideways, because uh, I know a lot of you guys did want to see them. But I'm just going to do an E3 recap and tell you guys like what games I am most excited for. So starting off, I'm going to start with the conferences and what was said there. Now, I was actually not at the conferences. I could have gone, but we didn't know about it until too late. So unfortunately, we never got to go. But the first like big announcement was from Xbox and they were announcing it was like the Halo Master Chief Edition, I think. And if you guys have ever played Halo, like Halo 2 and Halo 3... For me, at least, like, those were some of the first multiplayer experiences I ever had online, and they were super fun, and I'm glad that, like, $60 for, like, I think they said 100 maps, and it's crazy, like, that deal, I'm super excited to play that, that comes out in November. Another Xbox game, which I never got to play, but looks kind of cool, is Sunset Overdrive. Um, it, it sort of reminds me of Borderlands in the fact that it doesn't take itself seriously, so that's why I'm kind of excited about that game. Moving on into Sony, um, I don't really, if I remember correctly, besides like the GTA 5 thing that happened, I don't think there's too many games from them that I really got excited about. Nintendo as well, I mean they did have The Legend of Zelda and they did have Super Smash Brothers, which I actually got to play, and that's super fun, and you know, I may have to get a Wii U at one point just to start playing all these awesome games and stream them for you guys, but uh, nothing too special there. As for the EA and the Ubisoft conferences, so uh, Ubisoft, I'll get more into like their games in a second. They got some really good games uh, planned for the future. They have Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Unity, The Division, there's a new Rainbow Six game, they have The Crew, like they have a bunch of awesome games coming out, as well as EA. Even though EA doesn't have the greatest reputation, the biggest game, I was hoping for more information on it. Battlefront, man, like, this game, Star Wars Battlefront, like, oh, I've been waiting so long for a good Star Wars game, and it looks like DICE is gonna deliver on that, you know, from the little bit of footage that they showed us, it looks sweet, and I cannot wait for, to see more, and, and hear more, and, you know, get some more information about that game. Now, moving into what we did Tuesday, so when we got there Tuesday, um, I actually, the first game I got to play was Destiny. Now, Destiny, I'm pretty excited for too. It comes out in September, so like in two months, really quickly here. And unfortunately, I only got to play the multiplayer. And then they had an alpha, which I never got to play because I was in North Carolina when that was up. So um, I'm going to have to wait, I think, July. It's either July 14th or July 17th that the beta, like the open beta, if you pre-order the game, is going to start. So definitely be expecting videos on that when that comes up. But I'm actually super excited for it because it reminds me of a Borderlands mixed with like a halo and you know it sounds pretty cool the, the multiplayer is definitely it definitely feels like halo uh it almost like reminded me exactly like halo you know even some of the vehicles they had were kind of like halo so if you are a big fan of halo destiny multiplayer is going to be cool but I, I think that the multiplayer for that game is not going to be what sells it it's going to be the single player which like i said it's like borderlands in the sense that, you know, you have like a, a team of friends that you play with and you go do all these missions and it's an open world. So it seems pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that game. The next one you have to play was Battlefield Hardline. And uh, this one, I actually, you know, and I've said it in some of my Battlefield videos, I'm actually kind of excited for it. Now, obviously, there was a the whole issue with Battlefield 4 and, you know, all the stuff that's gone down with that. But Battlefield Hardline was fun, and I'm hoping it brings me back into the Battlefield series, because I am a huge fan of Battlefield. Also, we get to see Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, we get to see two new missions. Now, single player with Call of Duty, like, <laughs> nobody really cares. Um, although, this single player I might have to play just because it has Kevin Spacey in it. That's actually pretty sweet. But we all obviously want to know about the multiplayer, and I'm hoping it doesn't suck as much as Ghost did, because Ghost is terrible. And I'm hoping since this is a new studio making it, or kind of a new studio, I know they helped on some of the previous games, that, uh, you know, it'll be good. Although, they, they were talking about some stuff, man, and they got, like, cloaking, or, I, 
I don't know. I, I'm hoping they like. I I don't understand why Call of Duty just doesn't keep it simple. But you know the gameplay that they did show. Some stuff's pretty cool. You know, they got some really cool grenades where like there's a bunch of them and you just hit a button to choose which one you want. And I mean the graphics. Yeah, obviously it looked amazing because it's next gen and you know whatever. I, Call of Duty. I'm gonna wait until it comes out. And I'm gonna wait till people. Say, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it like a month or two to see if people actually like it before I buy it. Cause um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the same thing I did with Ghost when I buy it like a day, the day of the game coming out. Now I think that was it for Monday. Um, moving on into Tuesday, cause I was only there Monday and Tuesday. Unfortunately, I never got to go there Thursday, cause I did want to see some other games. But unfortunately, uh, you know, I had some things going on. But Tuesday. We actually did a lot of stuff. So Tuesday was the Ubisoft day where we got to see the first game I think was the, no. We had to see Far Cry 4 first, which that game, the graphics look amazing. You know, Far Cry 3 was really good and you know, the Far Cry 4, it, it looks just as good, if not better. They even said the villain, which is really cool. The villain is like 10 times worse than the villain from Far Cry 3. So if you played Far Cry 3, that's actually pretty, uh, that's a, that's an accomplishment there. Then we played the crew, and the crew, uh, you know, I'm actually kind of excited for it because I haven't gotten into a, like, a driving game in a while. You know, the last one's like Midnight Club LA, and that came out a while ago, so I'm hoping the crew will fill that, like, driving need, and it seems pretty cool. You can drive around, like, the entire, well, it's not the entire U.S., but, uh, you know, they have a bunch of different cities that you can drive. The only, the only problem with the crew, and I, I wonder, there's probably an option in the control somewhere. Like, the, they, they map the buttons to, like, some really weird things. Like, uh, the right analog stick, it, like, moves your camera around. So, it, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, obviously, it's, it's not like GTA. So, that, I was a little confused and I was having some trouble there. But, uh, I'm assuming you can just change that. So, that's probably not a big deal. But, it, it, you know, it seemed fun. The missions we played, we actually, uh, we were playing against another team or another group of people. And we actually won and we got some t-shirts, which look awesome. But after that, we moved on into Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed Unity, this one, you know, I haven't been a big fan of Assassin's Creed lately. Um, the last one I got was Assassin's Creed 3, and I haven't even finished it because it just hasn't, like, drawn me into the game. Now, obviously, some of you guys probably have different opinions, but, you know, for me, the last good Assassin's Creed was Assassin's Creed 2. I love that game. That's, like, that's probably one of my favorite games, like, ever. And Assassin's Creed Unity looks like it's going back to that Assassin's Creed 2 look and feel. I forget when it's actually set. But they have some really cool features in this game, as well as they have a co-op mode, so I'm really interested to see how that plays out, because I don't know, it, they kind of are unclear whether or not, like, you can play the entire game with, like, actual, like, other friends, or if it's just certain missions, but still, that aspect looked really awesome. And what's cool is they're actually, like, using the next-gen technology to have a bunch of more, like, people on the map, make the cities feel more alive, so that's, that's even better, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to this one, this one looks pretty sweet. And then finally, the last Ubisoft game, the game of E3, for me at least, and I'm hoping the game of the year next year, The Division. This game, we never got to play it, unfortunately. We only got to see gameplay. We saw the gameplay from the trailer, or no, from uh, when they had the uh, conferences, they actually showed gameplay. We saw that, but then we also got to see a live demo. Now... This game, I'm super excited for, and the only freaking problem, or the only issue I can see, is it hap like, it having the watchdogs, I guess, effect. Where, like, the, and, and there actually has been some rumors about this, so, I'm hoping they're false, but, um, basically what that is, but basically what that is, you know, they show this amazing game at E3, graphics, everything looks so good, but then, it looks so bad when they actually release it, because they take things away, and, you know, there. I I hope that doesn't happen, but regardless, the gameplay we saw, the graphics, they looked amazing. So that was awesome. But if I would compare it to something, it's kind of like Fallout, but instead of like after a nuke, it's after a like a what is it? A, a does like they spread a a virus or something, a disease in the world, and it's obviously set in New York because. And the reason I say it sort of compares to Fallout because actually on your hand, like in Fallout, you have the Pip Boy where you get to see all your missions and all that other stuff. Well, in this game, you have, like, a little watch that, like, shows all your stuff, you know, your inventory, your missions, the map. So, it's it's actually really, like, Fallout, although you can't go in first person, but still, you know, you guys who love GTA, you're going to love this game because it is third person, so you're going to be kind of used to it. 
But one sweet thing they said, like the weather actually like changes in the game. There's dynamic weather, and that will affect things. Um, the one pr the one thing that I want to see some more information on is like the whole multiplayer aspect. Like obviously you can have friends in your like division, you know, your little group. But how does other people in the world? Because they said it's supposed to be like an MMO. So how does like other people in the world affect everything? Because I'm pretty sure they just showed uh, your little squad against like AI, and the 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 part they showed us was like you had to go kill these AI, but once you killed them, you unlocked like this. Um, and I think this was actually the one they showed in the conference. You unlocked a uh, like a library, and that was like your base. And they were explaining how, like, you can upgrade your base and you can do all these awesome, like, features to your base. So, I I'm super excited about this game. This game looks like it could be a black... It's either going to do really good or do really bad, I, I think. Like, I don't think there's going to be a middle ground here. Uh, and I'm hoping Ubisoft pulls through. This is a Tom Clancy game, so I'm hoping they pull through as well. Because normally those games are awesome. But, by far, Division Game of the Year. Let me know in the comment section what, like, was your best game from E3... But moving on into uh, some other games, so after that we got to sort of, I mean I never got to play Evolve, I got to watch Garrett play Evolve and some other people play Evolve, and uh, I know coming away from PAX after playing it and like only playing it for 5 minutes because, you know, uh, what the gameplay what happened, you know, it was just a, it's a long story, but basically we wound up dying super quickly, it was super boring the gameplay, well, uh, after watching these guys play, you know, with these, like, I think it was new characters and a new monster and on a new map. The game actually looks pretty cool. Evolve, you know, it, it looks like a fun game that you can play with friends. And, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty excited for that one as well. Then we get to play Borderlands, um, the pre-sequel. And this one, um, you know, it definitely, it still stays true. All You know, has all the Borderlands stuff. Uh, the, the gravity aspect is kind of cool. Although... And I'm sure this is because I had no idea what I was doing, you know, but I was constantly looking for oxygen. But they did say that there's, like, a bunch of oxygen, like, places on the map. I guess I was just over, like, looking at them or something. But, uh, nonetheless, Borderlands, you know, Borderlands 2 is amazing, so this one's going to be just as good. I have a feeling, so I'm kind of excited about that. And then, uh, after that, we got to go see Batman and Mortal Kombat. We mentioned this a little bit in the, uh, in the podcast. But uh, if you are a fan of Mortal Kombat, I know I'm not a big fan of it, but you know it does look like a sweet game. They were showing us a bunch of gameplay, and uh, it's pretty funny how uh, they have like these knockouts, and, and I guess like I don't know, it's it's weird because like the uh, and I'll try to find some footage and throw it on the screen, but like when when like you kick each other or like hit each other uh, super hard, I guess like it shows like your freaking face cracking and ribs breaking and like spine i don't know it, it's pretty crazy and if you are a mortal kombat or a fighting guy uh, i guess you're gonna love mortal kombat 10 you know all the guys in the in the theater with us watching the show who are big mortal kombat fans were you know they were pretty excited and they thought it looked awesome and then after that we saw batman and batman was the last game i got to see and i actually still have to play batman the the last one because i've heard you know nothing but great things about it but Batman looks super awesome. This new one, they have the car, which you can drive now, which is sweet. And I'm definitely looking forward to that game. But they were showing off a bunch of awesome stuff with that. And again, I'll, if I can, I'll try to put some footage on the screen. The graphics in this game, though, it, the graphics looked amazing. Like, you know, the detail in some of the stuff is pretty sweet. And some of the features looked awesome. You know, it kind of reminds me, it kind of has that assassin's creed feel where you know it's third person and you're trying to like kill people and stuff uh, uh i guess you're not going to be as stealthy as assassin's creed but it's still pretty cool but some other games that i never got to see but i really am like interested in and i i wish i would have saw them so the first one middle earth shadow of mordor i think it's called uh this one is actually it takes place between the hobbit and the lord of the rings so it's in that universe so that's you know awesome in and of itself and they have, like, the, you know, the gameplay, it looks fun, it looks interesting, and they have this one mode, I, I can't figure, I can't remember what it's called, but, uh, it definitely, you know, I, I'm kind of excited about that game, it's like a game that's flying under the radar, not too many people are, you know, kind of talking about it. Another game which I am super excited for is The Witcher 3. This one, um, you know, it is an open world game, I think, Witcher 2 wasn't, and Witcher 1 wasn't. 
but this one is now an open world game and it kind of it's sort of like skyrim in the aspect that it's like a like a, i guess a medieval type of thing with you know a bunch of crazy stuff in it and you know it looks awesome and since uh there's not going to be another skyrim or other scrolls for a while you know this could be one of those games that takes the place for that uh, of that for a while and especially since it comes out on pc Oh my god, the graphics, they're going to look amazing, you know, and the trailers and stuff, and gameplay, they look amazing, so that's another game which I am super excited for. Um, anyway, I think that's pretty much it, that wraps up my E3 coverage, if I, again, if I, if I find the vlogs, I know this has been a long video, but if I find the vlogs, or if I fix them, um, I'll put them up, if not, I'm sorry, uh, I may just decide to put them up sideways, but who knows, anyway, hope you guys enjoy. We got um, a GTA video coming out later today. Anyway, as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace. Yo, what's up, guys? So I'm now in LA, and I don't know how like how well you can even hear me because there's a bunch of traffic and stuff. I'm on a journey right now to go find Mr. Ross, Mr. Boss, whatever you want to call him. I've literally walked like two miles around this damn thing, and. I don't know if you can, I'll try to get a picture. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but under there is the thing, you know, from GTA. But, uh, yeah, I'll report back when I find Ross. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, we are here at E3, and uh, we're now looking, uh, trying to figure out where to get our badges at, but we had a pretty busy day. These guys, freaking Garrett's vlog into, but, uh, yeah, man, this should be fun. I think I get to go play Destiny. What time? I think that's one. It's uh, or twelve. I don't know. I think one, 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 twelve thirty. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it should be pretty fun. So see you guys when we get in there. Hero, 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 hero. I wanna be a hero, hero.